welcome. You're logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com, the only portal for news from India, UK, Canada, Punjab and Gujarat. In English, Punjabi and Gujarati, with a list of well-established businesses and resources that you may need. I'm Prerna Sharma and today's headlines are... In India, Australian cricketer Steve Smith and David Warner have been barred from IPL 2018 and courts cannot stay case trials for over six months. In UK, an MOU over organised crime has been approved with India. And PM Theresa May has urged a long-term response against Russia. In Punjab, the CBI has issued a lookout notice against Chief Minister Amrinder Singh's son-in-law. And two Canadian NRIs have been attacked by armed assailants. Stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com and I'll be back with all the news that's important for you from India, UK and Punjab. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from India are... Australian cricketer Steve Smith and David Warner have been barred from participating in the 2018 season of the Indian Premier League. The move comes after Cricket Australia suspended the duo for 12 months each and opener Cameron Bancroft for 9 months over a ball tampering scandal in South Africa. The stay of trial court proceedings both in civil and criminal cases will now come to an end after the expiry of 6 months from the date of grant of stay unless extended in exceptional circumstances. The Supreme Court verdict is aimed at speeding up civil and criminal trials. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has got the backing of BJP rebel Shatrugan Sinha, Yashwan Sinha and Arun Shori to her efforts to forge a broad coalition of forces for one-to-one -one fight with the BJP in the 2019 Lok Sabha polls. She also met Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. One cannot bar the use of modern technology over fear of its misuse, Chief Election Commissioner O.P. Rawat has said. He replied to a query on harvesting of voter data by political parties and candidates' apps. He clarified that Facebook would continue to be the Election Commission's social media partner. Four militants have been killed in a gunfight with the security forces in Jammu and Kashmir's Rajouri district. AK rifles, magazines, hand grenades and IEDs were recovered from the possession of the slain militants. The Congress's Mumbai unit has alleged a massive tea scam in Maharashtra's Chief Minister's office. Daily, an average of 18,500 cups of the hot beverage are served, costing nearly 3.35 crore rupees. The CMO has denied the allegations of a dramatic and steady increase in expenses. The government plans to sell 76% stake in Air India. The Civil Aviation Ministry has sought expression of interest for the stake sale in the loss-making carrier and two of its subsidiaries. Anti-corruption crusader Anna Hazare's hunger strike against non-appointment of Lokpal and on the issue of farmers' distress entered the sixth day on Wednesday. Hazare has lost about 5 kilos. His blood pressure was also reported high and sugar levels low. The CBSE on Wednesday said it will reconduct examination in the maths and economics papers for class 10th and class 12th respectively, following the League of Question papers even as a Delhi police probe is underway. Filmmaker S.S. Rajamoli is excited that his magnum opus Bahubali will be screened at the upcoming Pakistan International Film Festival in Karachi. The film's story is about the battle for the ownership of an ancient kingdom between two brothers. The four-day festival commenced on Thursday. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as the news from UK and Punjab follows. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from UK are... Indian cabinet led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi will sign an MOU on organised crime with the UK and Northern Ireland. This will enhance cooperation in exchanging information and combating international criminality between the two countries. Prime Minister Theresa May has called the West for a long-term response against the security threat posed by Russia. The announcement came as NATO followed member states in expelling Russian diplomats over the poisoning of a double agent in England. However, Russia has denied allegations. Prime Minister Theresa May has said that the government will deliver Brexit at any cost. The statement came as several critics claimed that funding rules were broken by Brexit campaigners. May termed the Brexit result as the people's vote. The British government has issued new guidelines for handing down sentences in terrorism-related offences. Now a longer jail term will be served for suspects caught in early stages of plotting a terror attack. The minimum term for life imprisonment will be 40 years. Prime Minister Theresa May hailed the United States' decision to expel Russian diplomats over the nerve agent attack on a former Russian spy in the UK. The US has recently expelled 60 Russian diplomats from the country. Head of Labour Party's dispute panel Christine Shawcroft has quit after she opposed the suspension of a council candidate accused of Holocaust denial. 
She'd sent an email for the reinstatement of Alan Bull, who was accused of sharing an offensive post on social media. Around 5,000 finance jobs will be moved out of the UK following the Brexit in March 2019. However, the number has decreased to half than an earlier predicted report. The survey suggests that London will remain Europe's largest financial centre. Britain's Army Chief General Sir Nicholas Carter is UK's new Chief of Defence Staff, making him the most senior military officer. Carter will be succeeding current Air Chief Marshal Sir Stuart Peach. Local authorities in England have claimed that they do not have any choice but to raise taxes. The average bill will be 5.1% higher in the year 2018-19 than the previous year. The ruling government asserted that the taxes are lower than in 2010 when the Labour Party lost power. An ancient winged bull sculpture destroyed by IS fighters in 2015 has been put up on display in London Trafalgar Square. It is work of US artist Michael Rakowitz. The bull has replaced the giant thumbs up by David Shrigley and will stay in place till 2020. I'll be back. Stay logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com as the news from Punjab follows. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from Punjab are The CBI has issued lookout notice against Chief Minister Amrinder Singh's son-in-law Gurpal Singh. This is in connection with the alleged bank fraud case of 109.08 crore rupees by Simbauli Sugars Limited, one of the largest sugar mills in the country. Two Canadian NRIs have been attacked by armed assailants twice. The father-son duo was initially attacked at their house in Sajjan village and later at the civil hospital. However, the Hoshiarpur police have poked and arrested the NRIs for assaulting the other party. Chief Minister Amrinder Singh has announced a probe into the alleged leak of an STF report on drug smuggling. However, Singh did not mention the name of local bodies minister Navjot Singh Sidhu, who had released excerpts of the report to media on March 16. An SAD delegation led by President Sukhbir Singh Badal has met BJP Chief Amit Shah in order to strengthen ties. The delegation raised some issues concerning the party during the meet. The SAD also emphasized on providing exemption of GST on all religious institutions. Hundreds of students of the Central University of Punjab staged a protest against the authorities over an action in a sexual harassment case. A law department professor allegedly used derogatory language against a female student. However, the faculty has denied the allegations. The Congress government has announced to rectify inflated power bills served to industries. The issue was a talking point in the Punjab Assembly during zero hour. Congress MLAs told the House that the PSPCL has already rectified the bills. A father-son duo accused in the Sangroor go-down blast has been acquitted by the court due to lack of evidence. As per an earlier inquiry, the owners were illegally manufacturing crackers at the site. Seven people died due to the blast in September 2017. CM Amrinder Singh has constituted a panel of ministers to gauge the viability of the 600 crore rupees bus rapid transit system project. The centre and state governments have already pumped in equal shares of money in the project. It was an SAD BJP dream project. The daughter of renowned Punjabi playwright Ajmer Singh Aulak has committed suicide by hanging herself to a ceiling fan at her residence. Sohaj Aulak Brar was married to Punjabi singer Gurvinder Brar. She was active in theatre since her childhood. Professor of Biomedical Research Dr. Javed Agrewala has been awarded with the prestigious J.C. Bose Fellowship for developing a vaccination against tuberculosis. Agarwal is a professor at IIT Roper. He along with another fellow scientist from Australia developed the vaccination. This is the end of the news bulletin but stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com as news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resources section on this portal to find the best Indo-UK businesses and resources. From accounting firms to wedding planners in your city. All of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day. Ex-Big Boss contestant Simbhavna Seth, who is known for her energy-filled power-packed dance, is all set to present herself with yet another dancing number which will feature in a web film. We got our hands on a behind-the-scenes video. Take a look here. However, this item number will be seen in a web film titled Lights, Camera, Murder. 
Sambhavna, however, is one of the leading actresses in Bhojpuri cinema, but has also appeared doing item numbers in the Bollywood industry too. Choreographer director Ahmed Khan, who is awaiting for his film Bhagi 2, has choreographed many Bollywood stars in his career like Ashwara Rai Bachchan, Salman Khan, Varun Dhawan, and Alia Bhatt. Asked about the challenge he faced as a choreographer while working with superstars, Khan said, Choreography in a film depends on the filmmaker as well as the aura of a star. I had choreographed the piece Beat of Passion, the opening dance featuring Ashwarya Intal, that was out and out dance where I worked on the song as a dancer. I also choreographed Jumeki Rath for Salman Bhai. But in the latter, Bhai's aura worked so much that I had to control the dancer inside me. As a choreographer, I can say that the signature step was not out and out dance, but it is a super hit because of Salman Khan. Only Salman Bhai can make that happen. So yes, while working with superstars, I have to keep in mind what their fans want to watch. Having said that, youngsters like Tiger and Varun Dhawan tend to dance more and they are ready to do anything to get their moves right. Tiger Shroff and the Shapatni Sara Bhagitu is releasing on Friday.